you've done enough of these day trip uh, kind of things. This is a new experience for you as well. So tell me how you're kind of getting ready for, for this. Do you, do you just kind of let it flow over you and watch the others, or, or do you think it's going to you know, be a, an emotional uh, gut check time for you? It's, it's certainly going to be emotional for the, the, the organizers. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're, what we refer to, we, we don't get paid. We're all volunteers. Not, none of us do this for a living. So what we call our payday is being able to witness the trip through the veterans' eyes. Mm-hmm. And going back to Washington, D.C. and seeing the memorials, uh, that's our reward for doing what we do. This brings it to a whole new level. Now, we're seeing guys who are standing maybe in the very footsteps of where they were back in the 1960s, early 1970s. Uh, so it is absolutely going to be emotional for us as well and very re- rewarding that we're able to, through the community support, offer this opportunity to those veterans. And, and this is a trip you're not just going to be uh, showing some like shopping centers in, uh, in big cities. I mean, you're getting out into the countryside, you yep. know, the jungle areas where, where these guys uh, were, were ducking bullets and, yep. and uh, trying to stay alive. Yeah, we can't necessarily promise each vet that they're going to get back to where it was. They, they served a lot of the camps that existed back in 1969, 1970 are gone. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to spend most of our time trying to get back to the sites of historic significance. Certainly we're going to see the tourist sites because Vietnam is, is a, a thriving a country that's really trying to, to draw the, the tourists into the country, and we'll certainly be enjoying that. But this is primarily a, a history-related trip, so we're, we're trying our hardest to get these guys back to where they served. I know there's tour operators that, that kind of uh, plan out your itinerary and, and where they can get you and, and that sort of thing. How much, uh, uh, even in ballpark figures, can is something like this cost to, to put together? I know it's not cheap. This particular flight, with all the participants that we have on there, with the airfare, the hotels, and the inter-country uh, flights that will be taken, it's north of, of $200,000 that we needed to raise uh, to make this, this flight happen. Mm-hmm. Um, and as usual, the Northeast Wisconsin community stepped up to the plate and did a phenomenal job, and we've fully funded this this endeavor. So, And, and I know it's important to, to mention that uh, you, you – Folks are a nonprofit, and and you uh, depend on kind of the generosity and uh, yep. of folks, supporters, and that sort of thing. So it's uh, yep. always good to keep Old Glory Honor Flight in mind when you're you're looking to make a donation. Absolutely. I mean, we're not government funded. We get that question a lot. We don't get a nickel from the government. Then, and, and if they offered it, we wouldn't take it for the very reason we want to be a grassroots, community-based organization. All of our funds are donated, whether it's through corporate donations or, or individuals. People getting out the checkbook and sending us a $10 check, that's valuable to us because all of that adds up and makes us, allows us to do what we're doing here. How can you tap this? Uh, I don't know if you want, well, I, don't, I, I don't know if I want to go there. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know uh, what the future holds. Um, I mean, this is historic in, in the sense that uh, I don't think we've, we've heard of a, another similar kind of uh, honor flight uh, program that, that has done something like this. There have been no uh, honor flight organizations that, such as ours that have done a flight like this where all the, the participants are from a particular area and are flying uh, free, mm-hmm. uh, no charge. So it is a, a first of its kind. But like I said before, we like to think outside the box, and I'm sure we'll come up with something else that will keep us on the, on the cutting edge. And in the meantime, the... the Flights to D.C. are, are back uh, this year as well. Yeah, absolutely. Number 50 is coming up in May, and we're just going to keep right on going until all the vets that want to go to Washington, D.C. have had that opportunity.